welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have a look at Catball. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff with Catball. We have a whiskey from Glenmorangie called the Catball Estate. The region around here is called Catball and we have the Catball Stone we had a look at last time. And we're gonna have a look at um, why everything here is called Catball. And it starts off with this castle. This castle was built in the 13th or 14th century and was called Catball Castle. It was um, uh, raised down and there were fights about it and all of that going on. Um, later then the castle was become irrelevant and they have built an estate, a farming estate called the Catball Estate. And that was actually that building behind us. And it was built in 1750s around. Some other sources say 17, uh, 1669, but they're not really verified sources. So it's a bit of a mystery where it comes from or when it was built. And it was actually extended. Um, it was going pretty well and was a farming estate with the 800 acres around here. Um, today it's all sold to other farmers and this is not a farming building anymore. It actually then burned down 1960 and it was rebuilt and later then bought by the guys who owned um, Glenmorangie at the time and was used for yeah, the distillery for visitors or for the owners and yeah it was a kind of uh, estate for the distillery but still it is known as the Catball Estate. Today it belongs to Louis Vuitton Moyer Hennessy, which uh, do own Glenmorangie and they now call it uh, Glenmorangie House, whereas the locals still sometimes refer to it as Catball Estate. It has been renovated over the years and changed a little bit and now it uh, depicts the process of making the Glenmorangie whiskies in the different rooms where you uh, in the evening when you have a pre-dinner conversation then you have a dinner it follows the production process of the whiskey inside the distillery. But the Catball estate doesn't just have historical value but it is actually farming land and we're just going to go down to one of the harvested barley fields and gonna talk a little about how the Catball estate and its uh, farming produce is affecting the distillery. So this here is a picture or the view of the Catball estate. Um, as I mentioned it has 800 acres but it's not really the Catball estate anymore. Glenmorangie sold most of the land to the farmers and has contracts with them so they get the barley or they send the barley to the um, big malters from the Catball estate to produce uh, whiskey. What they want to do in future is they want to experiment a little bit with different types of barley and what that has an effect on the taste of the whiskey. And behind me you see a harvested barley field but uh, if you only grow barley on a field then you will get only the nutrients out that the barley needs and you will have a really bad ground. So what you always do with farming is you have crop rotation. So this here was barley, uh, on the other side you had potatoes and their crop rotation are a combination of potatoes, wheat and barley and some other stuff as well. So um, what is also interesting here is, is the microclimate. The area around here is pretty flat. So there is less rain than it's usual, usual for uh, Scotland. So it's actually a really dry area for Scotland. And also it is a little bit warmer. So this is the microclimate that we expect here and that grows a little bit of a different barley to what you would expect more from uh, the south grown there. And yeah, so the Glenmorangie still have 70 acres but they have contracts with the farmers and they want to do experimental stuff for the future. They have already done one whiskey that is exclusively made from barley from around here, from the Catball Estate, and that is the Catball Estate. And yeah, this barley I'm gonna try in liquid form. So I've promised you to try this barley now in liquid form, and here it is. It's the Glenmorangie Estate, yeah. 
and if you remember the last video then you can see here on the bottle that it has the signet on it and on the normal bottles actually below the signet there is uh the catball stone written so where it comes from i'm not going to try it just yet because i want to show you this is the inside of the catball estate or as it's now known the glenmorangie house and it's pretty cool what glenmorangie has done with the uh with the rooms because uh, a normal classical dinner follows uh, a sequence of rooms where you have this room here, this is pre-dinner, where you have pre-dinner conversations and some uh, pre-dinner drinks, then you go uh, to the dining room and then you follow into the, uh, the, the living room or after dining room. And here, this one is the first room where they look at the ingredient of malt so everything is really golden and yellow and there's a lot of uh, barley uh, in in vases and stuff and the next room is then the fermentation and the next room the the dining room is then the distilled room where you have a huge pot a copper pot on the on the stove that symbolizes the still where the whiskey is being distilled in the last room is then with a lot of animals and forests that symbolize the wood and the time that is invested into maturing the whiskey. Yeah, so enough said. This is the uh, Glenmorangie house that you can actually rent rooms in, but they are, they are pricey, but they are a really, really nice place to stay. Oh, this is uh, the Catbull Estate is a 15 year old Glenmorangie with uh, mature maturation in uh, bourbon casks solely 15 years in American oak bourbon casks and the specialty as you already know is that the spirit created from our Catbull Estate barley um, yeah 43% ABV. Oh, and it, it really feels like a Glenmorangie. Feels a little bit like a, uh, it has a character of the Glenmorangie original, the 10 year old, but it has more of a spicy touch to it. It has more of a, a ginger touch to it and a little bit of a Christmas spicy touch going on, like, like a bit of cinnamon. So, and it has more volume. It has feels a little bit like it has more oak and maturity in it. Mm. 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 And this is a Glenmorangie, but yeah, it's stronger, mm -hmm. more oak, a little bit of bitter sweetness going on, good amount of spiciness going on, but you feel the the deep undertone that still a Glenmorangie with the with the pineapple and mm, citrus and yeah, it feels like a, a light whiskey with a, a good amount of maturation. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's a good good whiskey, but be careful. Uh, the Glenmorangie Catbull Estate is a limited edition. I have just tried the batch number two. So if you are out there and you've not watched the video recently, then maybe the old whiskey is already sold out, but uh, have a look around. There might be some bottles still on the market. Yeah, that was it for the Catbull Estate. Next time in a few days, we're gonna look at um, the distillery and how such limited editions are handled at the distillery. And they have a, a new way of handling that and a new way to produce uh, limited editions and experiment about whiskey. So uh, stay tuned, hit the subscribe button if you want to see the next video, if you have not already done that. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.